Hi, everybody. My name is Andrea. Um, I am from the United States, Michigan. Um, I remember, I was just telling a friend this, I remember feeling like where I was was forever. Like I thought I would never be cured from vaginismus. I didn't know that there was a cure. I didn't even really know what I had. I just knew that at that time I was married and we weren't having sex. And um, it was about nine years before we were able to have sex after I came to the center. Uh, just to give you a little background, I had countless failed attempts at pap smears. I actually went into like a panic attack when I tried to have pap smears. I had physicians tell me, oh, just come back after you have intercourse, you'll be able to have a pap smear. That wasn't true, you know, for my case. I went back and I still wasn't able to have the pap smear. And then they suggested, well, maybe you need your hymen removed. So I actually had a hymenectomy. Um, I had the whole surgery, waited, you know, to be healed from the surgery. And then, you know, tried to have intercourse with my husband again and another failed attempt. So then I entered into going into um, sex therapy and regular therapy did all the things that I was supposed to do, you know, with the sex therapist and the regular therapist, and um, that didn't work as well. Um, it was just a lot of failed attempts, uh, many vacations, honeymoons, and no intercourse. So I'm like, what is happening? Um, so then years and years and years, like I said, trying to work it out on my own or us work it out together, not really knowing that we needed help. Like it wasn't something that I could just get over or it wasn't something that I could work at. I needed the assistance of doctors that knew what they were doing to help me. Um, so then it came, I think it was like the eighth year of marriage and we had this talk and we were like, can't do this. Like what's happening? We need help. So I started searching on the internet because I knew the word from being treated at a hospital, they gave me an actual word. So I was like, okay, I know what I'm dealing with. I don't think it was the word vaginismus. It was another word that I'm not sure of. But um, I started you like searching that word and then video started popping up. And the ironic thing is, I believe that I saw a video of the doctors when they were on TLC years ago and they helped another young lady. And I watched that video maybe in like the first or second year of my marriage. So it wasn't the first time that I watched a video from the Women's Center, but it was the first time that I was like, I need to do something. I need to take action. Um, so whew, I watched the videos and I'm like, okay, I see these women, I see their stories, but can I be cured? That was my question because I actually, honestly, I didn't see a lot of women that looked like me. So I was like, okay, or do they cure black girls like you know just being real um and so then I went ahead and um I called them I'll never forget that day um doctor doctor D to answer the phone and then I set up the appointment um for us to do Skype because it was a few years ago so I don't think Zoom was that popular so we did the Skype session they told me everything that I needed to do um and I I made sure that I went ahead and and did everything. Um, somehow the money came together for us. Somehow the time off from work. Somehow like every, all the pieces just came together once I actually stepped out of myself and stepped out of what I thought I could do and reached out for help. Like things just started coming together. Um, I opted to do the two weeks straight. So I stayed in New York for, or the New York area for the two weeks. And just a tidbit, stay at the hotel they tell you to stay at because they have wonderful waffles in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a highlight, you know, of my time there because honestly, I was nervous. I was scared. Um, and so just that comfort in the morning waffles before I went, it, it was it was a nice perk of my time there. Um, and we actually turned it into like a little mini vacation on the weekends. We did sightseeing you know, all the things to see in New York. Um, so life after being cured, I went there in March, 2018, and um, I was able to have intercourse. 
and I actually became pregnant shortly thereafter. Unfortunately, um, the baby I was not able to carry to full term, but the fact that I was able to, I knew I could be, you know, I could have intercourse and become pregnant. That was a victory in itself. Although the baby, you know, didn't, was in full term, um, it still was a victory because I had never gotten that far, you know, in my sex life. Um, and so I'm doing this really because, like I said in the beginning, I didn't see women who looked like me. And so I want to let, you know, a lot of times in the African-American community, we don't talk about sex or life or different things that people go through. It's kind of hush, hush. So I'm okay with talking about it because I went through it and I know that my story can, if it just helps one person, I know um, that my time wasn't in vain, you know, dealing with vaginismus. But since then, I was able to have successful pap smears and I am able to insert a tampon every month during my menstrual. And that is a great victory. <laughs> I don't know how I lived without tampons, but that is something that the doctors, you know, teach you and show you how to properly do while you're there. So many victories while I was there. And I'm, I'm really appreciative to the doctors and the whole team because it changed my life really.